I am inside the U.S. Botanical Garden. We are in the area where the tropics are. And here, it's the corpse flower. Here are four things to know before you see one of these flowers, where as scientists call it, Amorphophallus titanum. One, this big old stalk and cup isn't the flower. It's all leaf tissue. The flowers are actually at the bottom of the stalk inside and we can't see it. It's not one flower, but hundreds of both male and female parts. Two, they don't self-pollinate. The female flowers open first to receive pollen, making it stink. Smell it. The male flowers are a little higher on the stalk and open later to release their pollen. So an insect will take it somewhere else. This offset timing is a cool evolutionary strategy so the plant doesn't pollinate itself and increase genetic diversity. Three, it's pretending to be dead meat. As this frilly leaf base opens, it releases a smelly stench to attract bugs to these aforementioned flowers below. The chemicals literally include those found in Limburger cheese, garlic, and rotting fish. That red also resembles decaying meat also attracting insects. And four, for the majority of the time, the flower doesn't look like this. It's actually in a tree form seen here. These leaves can grow 15 to 20 feet high and stand for like a year. It absorbs energy for the plant stem underground. Sometimes this tree will die and grow back, and it keeps doing this until the stem has enough energy to bloom into this flower. All right, I'm sweaty. Goodbye until another few years.